Hello Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancer, um, for your reading, man, I really just wanted to see what's coming towards you um, this weekend. Okay, ooh, Cancer. Somebody may be freeing themselves from something here. Um, making a run for it, okay? I, the Tower card. Um, was a stray card in a deck. It came out for your reading here. That was a clear message. So something is about to happen here. Cancer, you may even want to escape a situation or just get away for a while because somebody here may feel very taken advantage of um, by somebody, you know, whoever's around you, okay? Yeah, I'm feeling like somebody may want to leave the scene. Yep, jumping out the window. That's an escape. Okay, so Cancer, I don't know. It Does a fight pop off or something? It's either with you or with someone else. Take it how it resonates, okay? Um, but somebody's freeing themselves from a situation, getting out of something, um, because they see that um, people have been using them, taking them for granted, okay? So somebody may even want to travel or just be like taking a road trip or something. It could be anything like that, okay? Or you're being spiritually led to leave leave a place behind or maybe this is your person. Let's find out. What messages do you have for my beautiful Cancer? And just take what resonates, guys. Leave the rest behind, right? Um, and thank you, Cancer, for everything. You know, when the Tower card comes out in the beginning of your reading, I start kind of like, okay, what's happening here? Yeah, and this is travel as well. So this could be a masculine energy that may need to travel to get to you. They may um, live a distance from you. There's somebody here is choosing a new path, going somewhere else, you guys, um, to someone from their past. Cancer, I feel like there's a masculine energy that's just going to show up. This is that tower moment, or they're creating a tower moment in their life, leaving a bunch of people behind because they're, they're freeing themselves from something here. They're escaping a situation here, okay, and they're traveling here, okay? Do you see what I'm saying? So I feel like whatever they're doing, they're, yeah, there's somebody here is closing out a cycle. They're in a lot of regret, and it's ending in a big fight. And there's going to be a massive fight that pops off. Um, I feel like they want to come towards you. Yep, they're being spiritually led. They're in so much regret over their choices. They know they should have never um, turned their back on you. And here's the thing. You know what I'm seeing here. Now that this person has left a situation, and believe me, it's the situation they're leaving behind. It's like, um, it's like a, a blow-up scene from an action movie. Okay, that's really what it that's what they keep showing me. They're showing me the scene from Rundown. It's a movie called Rundown um with the rock. And things are blowing up in the background and I mean and this and the rock is walking out of the situation. So, um yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like. A lot of fighting, a lot of chaos, a lot of drama. This person just ups and leaves a situation. They just up and leave and walk away. And then I feel like they come towards you. You know, there's going to be a moment when after they're gone, right, once they walk away from this, they're standing at like a crossroads and they drop to their knees and they pray. Okay, please, God. Please tell me what I should do. Please give me another chance. Please give me the strength. I mean, look at the red skies and everything. That's like that scene from, um, from The Rundown. It's a great movie. You guys should check it out. It's very entertaining. Um, but yeah, when this person drops to their knees and prays, you know, after, I mean, getting out of this situation is going to be like walking through a, a wreck, okay? Um the divine actually hears their prayer okay they they drop to their knees they pray 
and the divine is like, let me lead you, okay? Let me let, let me lead you. And here's the thing. The d spirit is leading them right to you, Cancer, okay? But you've already got your guard up. You've already um, made a decision, I feel, not to speak to this person, just to cut them out of your life because they're not giving you anything. There's been no communication. This person completely turned their back on you. Nine of Wands energy, they know they need to confront everything that they did. You know, I feel like this person could have betrayed you a couple of times, you know. We've got two swords here. Um, I feel like they stuck a, a stuck two swords in your back, okay? They're getting ready to confront this cancer. And you're closing out a cycle here. You want somebody who's going to be committed. Look at this. You're their wish fulfillment. Holy cow, cancer. Look at you. You're in the world, right? The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. You are ev literally everything, everything to this person. And they know it. You know, uh, honestly, that this could be what they're being shown in a time of prayer. The, di the divine could seriously be sending this person a vision. This is why you can't stop thinking about cancer. This is why you can feel the door closing on this past life soulmate connection. This is why. This was your destiny. Cancer was your destiny. Oh, you guys, I'm getting the chills all over because they're realizing this now. Man. Yeah, and they're, they're being shown. They're being led straight to you. Spirit is answering their prayers. Yeah, they, they're being told, you need to apologize for the in and out energy, the lies, the betrayal, the no communication, the taking advantage of cancer. Now you know what it feels like to be taken advantage of, right? That's what this, those damn squirrels eat all my flowers. That's what this is. Now you know that you, um, you know what it feels like to be taken advantage of. Now you get to, now that you've learned your lesson and you're penitent, right? The penitent man kneels before God. That's what this is. They kneel before God and pray. So, yeah, the Spirit is telling them, you need to go and apologize and make it a good one. Okay? You need to confess everything. Apologize for the betrayal. You know, you're in the star energy. You're, uh, this person may be worried that you're going to fight with them because they're coming from a humongous battle here. All right, they're just getting out of this battle. And believe me, they've got to fight to get out of that situation. Okay, they've got to fight to get out. So now this person is thinking they've got to fight to come back in. <laughs> okay, but Cancer, I see you as being very peaceful, very calm and serene, very nurturing. Okay, you could be doing something in the public eye. You're definitely on a glow up here with the world card and all of this abundance. You've got, um, you're already in nine of cups and ten of, cu ten of pentacles energy. These are like the two, some of the best cards in the deck. These are happy endings here. Okay. So yeah, I feel like you're already very abundant, very stable. You've got um, all of this money and opportunities around you. You're moving forward. You've healed. This person betrayed you, but you've healed from it, Cancer, because you're a healer. All right? But it is, it, it is judgment time. It's time for this person, and I got this at, earlier in your reading, too. When that divine, when the divine toots this horn, it's time for this person to come in and confess everything. So that's what they're going to do. They're on their way in. They're going to tell you everything that just went down, okay? Um, and believe me, it's, it's like a train wreck in this person's life this weekend, okay? Because they're getting out of that situation. And they're coming towards you, Cancer. I feel like they're going to tell you that you're, you're the one for them. Yes, they know the truth about this now. And they've been carrying this burden for far too long. They can't do it anymore. 
So you're about to get the truth, a true confession from this person. They're seeing everything now from a new perspective. They may feel kind of stuck right now, Cancer. This person, in walking away from something here, um, they could be actually end up homeless, something like that, okay? They could, they could end up um, not having a place to go. They may be broke. They may have a lot of financial issues that they need to take care of you know there's a lot of they're very burdened here so they do still feel a little bit stuck maybe they just you know they need to rebuild their life okay but this person is coming in with this love offer regardless they may be broke cancer okay um and they they but i'm telling you they're breaking free from something pretty awful if they have to go through all of this I mean, it's harsh fighting, you guys, um, behind the scenes, okay? If they have to go through that, man, they're serious about coming towards you. This person's about to come in with this love offer. They want this new beginning. And the divine is saying it's time. You don't have time to work on your finances. You don't have time. You need to go towards cancer. Otherwise, it's going to be over. Um, and this person needs to come in with the truth, a confession, and I'm um, telling you how they feel. Otherwise, it's going to be over. They can't come in with the wand, you know. They may be collaborating with other people. Yeah, see, they, they can't come in like this. They can't come in like a knight of wands. They've got to come in um, wanting to be serious. Wanting to put in the work, okay, with this Three of Pentacles. I'm just seeing somebody who, and once again, they may be broke. They may think that you're not going to give them um, a chance because they don't have much. I feel like roles have, have reversed here, Cancer. I feel like at one point they turned their nose up at you, thinking that you didn't have enough to offer. Now they have to come in um, in that same energy, possibly not having anything to offer you except the hopes that this new beginning will work. That's all they've got. This person literally, they like have nothing. They may not even have a place to stay, you know, but they want this new beginning. Okay, and they can't stop thinking about it. Hermit energy here. You could be dealing with a Virgo, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, um, maybe a Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, yeah. Yeah, they're in love. I'm in love with the beautiful woman. That's what I just heard. <laughs> yeah, if you're in love with the beautiful woman. Um, I, I don't know what else, they, what else the song says. It's an old 80s song, you guys, or 70s. Um, but yeah, that's what I heard. They're in love with the Empress. Oh, Cancer, this person's in love with you. Yeah, and they're coming to you with nothing, okay? They're coming to you um, being pretty broke and having a lot of burdens, though, okay? But they want this new beginning, and they're leaving everything behind um, pretty much in, in flames, okay, in order to come towards you. So get ready. You could be dealing with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Yeah, I feel like Cancer, their, their life is off balance. They don't have a lot to offer. I feel like they don't know if you're going to give them another chance or not. Okay, they don't know. If you reject them, it's going to be a very painful ending because they're leaving everything behind for you, for you. And if you reject them, that's it. Oh, man, then they'll suffer. They'll have the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Okay. It's a 50-50 chance that they've got to get back together with you, if that, if that. 
I feel like in the past, this person, man, they didn't give you communication. They, they made you wait for them. They chose someone else over you. Um, they withheld their love. They never told you how they felt about you. Okay. Yeah. See, this person was a player. All they did was play you, Cancer. And I feel like there was something like you knew it. You could feel it. You knew you were getting played. And I feel like that's when you this situation split. You focused on yourself. You you had a major glow up here with the Empress and the World card. Major glow up. Okay, and but and they've realized during this time of separation that you are their real Empress. Okay. Um, but yeah, you're gonna be looking for any kind of red flags. You could see this person as one big giant walking red flag, okay? You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. If they they know if they come in with this wand, you're gonna see right through them. You know, you're gonna not accept that offer and they'll end up missing this. So this person knows they've got to come in with the truth and with feeling, okay? Because you're, you're in this earth angel energy. You may have other options around you right now. I'm also seeing this as they need to bring all the illusions down. They cannot come in with that wand, and they know it. Oh, they know it, Cancer. Because that's how they approached you before. And, um, yeah, you, you, don't, you do not want to have anything to do with that wand right now. Okay, you want to know if somebody's being true to you and honest with you. Yep, otherwise you're walking off of your spread with that beautiful cup of love, and they're not going to get that cup. You'll be moving forward. If this person shows any kind of sign of immaturity, game playing, not being serious, giving you the runaround, wanting to just use you and flirt with you and leave. You know what? Uh-uh. You're leaving them behind in your dust. Okay? And they know this, Cancer. This person's getting ready. They're preparing right now to talk. Look at how they're tapping on that blade, right? Tap, tap, tap a -roo. They know they put you through a lot of heartache and betrayal, and they know that there's a good chance that these three swords will come back down on them if you reject them. And there's a good chance that you'll reject them, Cancer. You're already in your chariot moving on. You're already um, not offering that cup. You already have new options swirling around you. If you if they if you haven't seen people coming in wanting to date you, Cancer lining up for your attention, you will soon. Okay, you will soon. And it, this is what you're attracting in Empress energy. You're attracting all of these opportunities. You're attracting new things to you right now. You know, you're going to be moving on if this person comes in with that wand. That's the last thing you want to see. <laughs> okay, for real. They know it. They know they need to tell you the truth, okay? They're tapping on that blade of truth, Cancer. Yep. And they know that you're out here single and ready for love, okay? You've transformed your whole life. You've gone through this glow up. You're having this victory coming off of a battle. Um, you've healed cancer and you're focused on you and your, your high value. Okay. You're a high value person, um, who's not going to take any more crap. All right. You won't tolerate poor treatment anymore. And you're not going to tolerate, like, if this person comes to you not being serious and just wanting to play games, that's a page coming to an empress. Okay, they you'll see them as not being worthy. You may already see this person as not being worthy, in all honesty. So, yeah, um, they're very nervous. <laughs> they are. I can feel it, you know. I'm, I'm like wringing my hands. I'm like, oh. I can feel their nervousness. And they're tired, they're drained, they're exhausted. Let's, um, because of everything that they just went through. Yeah, they're coming. What did I say? This is at the split. They're coming forward, Cancer, to talk to you, to make you some kind of offer. 
and I feel like everything is about to come into the open. Um, everything is about to be exposed, okay? They're going to confess, but they are scared. All right, what can you show me here for Cancer? And this tower card here, this tower moment could actually be them showing up at your door. Okay, if you guys have moved away, because this is forward movement, um, this could be a new home. If you've moved away and this person needs to travel to you, you're going to be really surprised when they show up. Okay, yeah, see, the, here's the thing too. Um, this could be your energy, just still feeling a bit bitter from this person. This is what they're thinking. They're, they're, I feel like they're freaked out. They're very burdened. They're very overwhelmed right now. They are, be, like I said, because of what they just went through. Also, though, because um, they don't know what's going to happen here. They don't know what your reaction is going to be to them. Uh -huh. Yeah, they know that they could be walking right into a Ten of Swords situation with you. They're feeling very pessimistic about this. But they know that they're completely unfulfilled. And until they get back together with you, Cancer, there will be no comfort for this person. Um, they're, yeah, they're incomplete without you. There's like a hole where their heart used to be, okay? Because you took you took your you took their heart with you when you left. And you're leaving them behind right now. They know it. Yeah. But here's the thing, you've healed cancer. Look at all that you went through. Um, I feel like this person, whatever was done to you was absolutely brutal. You had a whole community of people talking smack about you, dragging your reputation through the mud. Okay, you were very publicly publicly humiliated. You felt very used and taken advantage of. Okay, this person betrayed you. I feel like they could have put the blame on you, threw you to the wolves, and let people tear you apart. And through all of that, you've healed. Now you're having this victory. You're no longer in this energy anymore, Cancer. Now you're super strong and determined in moving forward with the chariot and this big trophy in your hand. Okay? Putting all of this behind you. That's where I want to put it. And I feel like that's where you want to put the pain too. Is in the past where it belongs. But this person knows because of how they treated you before. Man, they may not stand a single chance, Cancer. For real. They may not stand a chance. They waited for too long. You know? They, they, they remained stuck in something for way too long. And now this person is um, frustrated, panicky, um, they're looking at a move here, so either they're moving or you could have moved. They're thinking that the soulmate connection is going down. Yeah, and they, they stood on the sidelines, Cancer, and watched you make these boss, bold, courageous moves. Too afraid to approach you. See, they're frustrated with themselves, too. Because they, they were just, they were too shy, too scared, too timid, you know. But now this person is getting their strength up because, you know what, they, they just feel compelled. They feel very compelled. And the divine is leading them, okay? But yeah, they're seeing you. Here's another thing, too, with shy and then watching you make all of these big, bold boss moves. They know you're stronger than them. They know you're more confident than them. They know that you're, you're willing to take a risk for yourself, okay? And here they are, being all kinds of scared and um, hesitant. So they already know that um, you're vibing way higher and they're not even at your energy level anymore. They're angry, possibly, with themselves because all they did was sit and long for you and waste all of their time. 
They're angry with themselves for hurting you in the per, in the first place. They're angry about their choices. Um, they're um, they kind of hate themselves right now, and they see that they may not be worthy of you, Cancer. They're not even vibing at your level. But all they can do is long for you. This is all that they did was sit and yearn for you, okay? While they were a coward. This is kind of being a coward here. Yeah, they're very upset with themselves. But Cancer, you're moving forward and they see that. They know you're leaving their life. Um... I feel like they're falling into a state of depression here. Yeah, look, and as I say you're leaving their life, look at you could be making a house move and moving away. And energetically, they do not want you to go. Okay, if you look really close at this card, let's just cover up the words. Look at the picture. You're leaving them behind like a ponytail in the wind. Okay? <laughs> You've, got, you've learned your lessons, you've taken your training wheels off, and you're moving at, like, light speed right now. You know, they don't even know if they can catch up. And with this, I feel like you may be moving away, and they may feel inadequate. Next to the energy and the vibes you're given, Cancer, this person feels inadequate. They feel like they're not worthy, Okay. Um, they've been doing nothing but watching you, maybe feeling powerless um, to do anything to stop your progress. They can't stop you from moving on, and they know they don't have a right to even try after what they put you through. So I feel like this person literally sat and wasted all of their time. You know, and wherever they were in, they were already completely uninterested, bored. Um, all they wanted was you. So, yeah, they're, they're walking away from that. I feel like if they know if you left them, there would be nothing that they could do about it. Because in all fairness, right, um, they're the ones who really, really put you through it, Cancer. The things that this person put you through is sick. I'm sorry. It was you know, this card is the worst card out of all of my decks, you guys. All of them. This was horrible what was done to you, Cancer. And this person realizes it. And now, and now that they've seen you heal from that and they know you don't really need them, you don't need anyone in your, in, in your life, right? Um, you, um, you're very independent you're strong, you're bold, you're making boss moves, and you're enthusiastic for your new beginning, and you have the victory already. You're determined to move forward, man. They're worried. They are. Because they know they could very well lose you, and they know that that would be fair after everything they put you through. This person is so ashamed of themselves. They're very sad, okay? I'm just feeling a sadness. You were, And you inspire this person to want to live a better life. That's why they got out of that situation in the first place. But you're already getting wish fulfillment all on your own. You're satisfied and self-actualized and fulfilled without this person. You know, they're so ashamed of how they treated you, Cancer. And they're really worried they're not going to get another chance because here you, here you go, choosing a new path. Look at all of this regret. And meanwhile, their life is completely flipped upside down. Okay, like I said, they've, they're leaving literally everything behind for you. And now you're leaving them behind as well leaving them feeling very alone, very unworthy. There, there it is right there, unworthy. Okay, they feel unworthy of you now.
Yeah, but the divine is leading them to you. Um, and here comes that strength, right? They're getting the courage. They're getting the strength, I feel, to approach you. I really do feel like this person is coming forward with an offer. But they're looking more at... What Sorry about that cancer. My battery died. They're thinking more about what their life is going to look like if you reject them, okay? What could happen if you reject their offer? Which it looks to me like a lot of you will. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Um, you're taking bold, bo making bold boss moves out here, taking huge leaps of faith, very excited for your future. Um, yeah, Cancer, I'm seeing you moving on. Because this person really gave you nothing, okay? And you just want peace. And here they are praying. Like I said, they're praying for you. So the divine is answering this person's prayers and giving them the courage that they need, okay? Are they afraid? Yes, they're afraid, okay? But I feel like the divine is leading them to you. Yeah, look. They're in love with you, Cancer. They're desperate. They're irritated with themselves. This person's in love with you, though. So get ready, Cancer. I feel like um, all of this is happening this weekend. I'm not so sure if this person will be coming towards you this weekend. That may happen later on in the week. Okay, but um, yeah, they can't handle this anymore. I mean, this is one of those one of those feelings where I just can't take it anymore, right? Um, that desperation, frantic, out of control, in need, right? But yet irritated with themselves, I feel. Aggravated, but they, like they can't handle this anymore, okay? They can't take the weight. They can't stand the pressure. Um, they can't just sit back and keep praying for you and being regretful. They have to make their move. So I really do see this person approaching you. Okay, if it's not this weekend, it'll be probably next week. But yeah, they're coming towards you here, Cancer. So get ready, my darlings. Um, let's get some advice. What advice do you have for my beautiful Cancers? Advice for Cancer. Oops. Oh boy, though, what you know, they keep showing me that scene in Rundown. Um, it's a mess. They leave it, they leave their life in absolute turmoil and in rubble. Okay, I'm telling you that they, how they get out of this situation, it's not good. They've really got to go through a battle to get out of that. Cancer, I feel like, you know what, you've got your crown on. You've learned your lessons. You've passed your test. The divine has crowned you. And I feel like you're passing through, um, it just feels like you're passing through the veil here from, from the last cycle where it was nothing but sadness, you know, darkness, right? Um everything that you had to go through and you're entering now into a time of your life that you're going to be celebrating look at this you're flipping excited for new stuff now okay after being in stagnancy you're ready to live again so um yeah i feel like um you're more focused on having a new life than on this person coming back yeah i feel like you're letting things end cancer you're letting this connection end. You're manifesting. Feeling blessed. Going with the flow. Maybe, maybe you're saying some prayers for this person. <laughs> yeah, they just showed me a Corey's movie. I don't remember what movie it is, but they're both thinking about something at the same time or praying at the same time. And um, there's like this shift in the movie. I, I don't remember the name of the movie, but that's what they're showing me. So they're praying for you. As you leave this person behind, you could be like saying something, you know, saying a prayer like, 
you know, take care of them, God, you know, I don't want anything bad to happen to anybody. I forgive them, you know, as you, as you move on. And I feel like the divine is answering both of you. The spirit is hearing this. Okay. But yeah, time is up here, Cancer. I feel like this person had plenty of time. Yeah, look, spirit hears the prayers. mending yeah they want to come back in and and fix things with you cancer okay they left you feeling orphaned like i said publicly humiliated ripped apart um blamed right put out in the cold this person wants to come back around now and fix this okay this could even be something that you were praying for so that you could move on like closure please give me closure give me an answer give me you know some kind of truth well the time is here now so i feel like yeah this person's coming back around they want to heal things cancer but i feel like you are just so tired of things not moving like the last thing you want is to get into another cycle of stagnancy and being ignored so this is coming to an end with a 10 here you're ending it okay You know, when this person comes back around to you, you may be like, oh, man, why are you here? <laughs> why are you restarting this? I've already healed. Why are you restarting this, right? Yeah. Some of you are manifesting a new soulmate connection, somebody, who, um, somebody who's going to protect you, someone who's going to defend you, stand up for you. For a change so I feel like you're doing a lot of manifesting here um, dreaming up what you want in your new future okay yeah and I feel like new stuff is coming to you cancer holy cow as I say that cancer message right um, yeah the divine is going to show you something maybe in a vision you're about to get this is kind of like the ten of Pentacles and the ten of cups um, this is ultimate wish fulfillment, and here comes somebody. I I feel like this is going to be somebody new who's going to be loyal to you, dedicated to you. I feel like your person is coming back in, Cancer, but I feel like you're not going to you're not going to take them back. Okay, you may forgive them. Yes, I see you forgiving them. I see you accepting an apology, but that doesn't mean you have to accept them back into your life. And I feel like you're just done. You want this never-ending story to be over and you just want your happiness and it's coming. Look at this. Whatever you're manifesting, Cancer, is coming to you. Okay? Very quickly. Money, happiness, love. Wow. Cancer. And you're ex this is everything that you're excited for. It's like you know you have faith the divine is going to give you um, all that you have deserved okay so yes yeah, see this is why you're taking this leap of faith and being all kinds of happy and enthusiastic about your new future is because you know all of these blessings are coming in and you're about to get ultimate wish fulfillment here and this could be this new person that comes in could be your twin flame this person that you were dealing with before they could have been a karmic and I know that this karmic, look, whoever this masculine is, I know they're falling apart. Okay? I know that they're sad. I know they're scared. I know they're feeling desperate. And they're coming back in to talk to you. But that doesn't mean that you want them back. I feel like you're just so tired of being put on the back burner. You're tired of people overlooking you. You're tired of just being tossed aside like an empty soda can. Okay? So I feel like you're, you're focused on um, having everything that you want in your new future. And you're getting it. You're getting it, Cancer. It's your time. It's your time. 
Wow, Cancer, holy cow, no wonder you're so excited about the future here. You can feel it in your bones you're going to be getting this wish fulfillment. Um, beautiful energy for what's coming towards you. Not so great for your person, okay? I feel like this person in, in particular, they're going to get a rejection from you. You will, you'll get your honesty. You'll get a confession. You'll get an apology. Um, and that will give you closure and justice. But I feel like you're going to choose to, um, you're going to choose to accept new love and all of these blessings that are coming to you in the future. I don't feel like this person can get back in. Okay. Yeah. Wow, Cancer. You get like everything that you're dreaming of here. <laughs> you do. And they, they get their karma. Oh my goodness. Anyway, my darlings, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps and resonates. I love you. I love you, Cancer. Really, I'm so excited for you here. I am. <laughs> so anyway, my darlings, yeah, look forward to the future, right? And, and um, keep your eye on the prize, Cancer, okay? Um, and if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.